have a YouTube intern. His name is Elliot. He's from San Diego. He's 16 years old. Hi. Hello. We're gonna talk a little bit about an internship, YouTube internship in a minute. But before that, let's go grab some grub with some homies. Hey, are Sam and Sean not here? They literally just left. We <laughs> just finished. Pizza! And look who I met! You're gonna do your new backflip? When we go outside, yeah. Why are oh you doing it? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh. Subscribe! <laughs> I don't know, I just learned it when I was 12 and I every track since then. Oh <laughs> my gosh. I also wanna introduce you guys to someone a internet friend who's now a real life friend. This is Holiday. Hey. So how would people know fan? you? Who do you work with? Pete McKinnon's my mm -hmm. good bud. You guys know him. Yep. Sean Duris. All started with Sean. So all started with Sean. Tanner Fox. Hey. 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 I love to try to. I love to try to think of cool stuff hey, for no, John you know and Sarah. Yeah, everybody. Okay, so like when I met her just like 10 minutes ago, I was like, oh yeah. So like, what do you do? Like, what's your name? Blah blah blah. And then I and then I went on YouTube and I was like, wait. You're the girl that made the Casey Neistat <laughs> video. And then, and then ever since then, we've been best friends. Best friends forever, yeah. When we go to California, John and I need to come hang, because apparently you have yes. some cool things Podcast, going on. warehouse, and my house. Done, done. Hey, your Casey video, I just, I died. I, I was dead. I actually I died. died. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're a good actor. You need yeah, to yeah, act. I saw some comments. People were like, you should do skits. Yeah, yeah. Sam's here as well. <laughs> I, who else am I gonna pull? Like someone else over here on my shoulder? Like, <laughs> I was like, I got a call. Here, so what, what are you trying um, to do? So right I ordered now? way too much food as always, so we're gonna try to give it away to some homeless people. I'm just kidding. I didn't want to assume that. I, that was a joke. Okay. Dude, you like chicken Alfredo? I can interest you in chicken Alfredo free with bread. All for you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Are you a fan of chicken Alfredo with garlic bread? I can offer you some free today. It's no, free chicken oh, Alfredo. I just got it. It's leftovers. I'm not going to eat it. It's bomb. No, thank you. I have a high five. It was like, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs>
your editing style more. So when I first came, it was kind of hard to adjust from what I mm -hmm. knew mm -hmm. and transition it over to your videos, but I think I've gotten better yeah. at it. That's why it's so difficult to scale you as a human if you're making videos for a living because over the years, as you do it more, you develop a certain style and that's very hard to teach people and to have people mimic, so it's a process. Mm -hmm. You have your own YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You've yeah. been, you're 16, but you've been making stuff since. Like I was six years old, yeah. I taught myself Final mm -hmm. Cut when I was like 10. Mm -hmm. So the next step is to get him on Premiere. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about this idea of an intern and working for free a lot. Everything that I have now was built upon projects that I just decided to pursue. You know, it was, it was really built on free work and doing stuff for hecka cheap because that would lead me to, oh, this person that's going to lead me to this job. I talked about this a little bit recently in my previous video, how one conference and one really small job changed my life forever. Especially in the beginning of you being a photographer, a videographer, a content creator of any kind, you just have to do it. You have to make your own project so you can have this backlog of work, a portfolio to then show potential clients and show people and present yourself in a manner that you're proud of, that you can charge for. But in order to get to that level, you know, you have to have experiences. But here's the thing, with internships, usually it has to do with a certain physical location. Not everyone can come up to New York for a month and be my apprentice person. But guys, guess what? The internet exists. I wanna do my part in trying to start some, like more of a tight-knit community for people who wanna make videos. So I want to start this little internet community on Discord. It's basically a chat app. Uh, it's similar to Slack. I'm gonna do Q and A's there. You'll have a direct line to me, maybe do a monthly live stream. And basically right now, it's just a community to go and chat with like-minded individuals and content creators who are on the same journey. And then I'm gonna hop in there and answer any of your questions that you need every now and then. I wanna do a lot of things with this, but I don't wanna get too ahead of myself because I wanna see if it's something that you're excited about you know maybe I'll do editing challenges every now and then where it's like take my last video and make a really funny one minute meme video out of it or something and then I'll post it to my Twitter Instagram and tag tag you know the person who made it I'm super excited about the discord community where we can chat it up but also what is like an hour a day that you can set aside to pursue and learn about what you want to do maybe it means one less Netflix show maybe it means an hour less of YouTube consumption I know I love YouTube I, I think everyone is closer than they think to where they want to be it's just make guess the internet has all of the information you need basically I just want to be a small part of your journey and that's why I'm excited about the discord community and where it will go. I know it's super broad in general right now, but I'm excited to see how it evolves over time. This is the cutest street that has ever, oh my god, <laughs> we like vlogged at the same exact time. You guys look at Sarah and Cody. Hi. This is like the absolute cutest street ever. It's just a cobblestone street in the middle of Manhattan. No cars come down. I'm hanging out with Cody and Sarah. We're gonna grab some grub. I'm telling you, Manhattan, the surrounding boroughs, it's always so surprising. The little cool things that are here and there, the events that go on. Oh, oh. So we just finished up dinner, but there's so many cute little back roads. Here's New York, and here is like, like a movie set. Oh, wow. <laughs> just another night in New York City. I mean, look at this area. There's music playing, there's lights going on. Is that a pirate ship? <laughs> I live on the west side of Manhattan, so very rarely do I come to the east side. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. So it's like this is a completely different side of Manhattan that I feel like I never see. And apparently they have pirate ships. Oh. Have you guys subscribed yet? I mean, seriously, 
You made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed? Sarah will dance if you subscribe. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this light spectacle so much. I can't dance, but Cody took care of all of the dancing. Such a beautiful way to end the night. Make sure to check out the Discord link in the description below to really become a part of this tight-knit creative community from the most amazing city ever. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to everyone who was in the video today. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below. I feel like I said that. I'm tired. It's been a long day, but it's been a good day. I'm excited for everything that's coming up. So stay peachy. Are you peachy, Cody? Are you peachy? Are you staying so peachy? So peachy. Obviously. It was a peachy day. Okay. Bye! Oh, you no. do a latte do art. Here we go. Practicing the peach. No, I haven't. No, I can't do a peach, but I can do a splooch. <laughs> Wait till you see the. There it is. <laughs> oh. I'm getting rid of all my plants. I can't. They die. They die. A baby, a dog, a cat will let you know when it's hungry. Plants don't let you know when they're hungry. They don't. And they. <laughs> What do you think of V2? V2? I don't know anything about V2. Sam's the one who knows everything about V2. Gonna be the V2 star? I wish I had more secrets. Sam's the one with the secrets. Matt said that you were the dude to talk to for V2. What? Is this a V2 vlog or is this a... Give us a scoop! Uh, I think it'll be called V2. Anything else to say? I just want to say that if you go to a YouTube video and you're watching it, right, especially this one right now, and you click the read more in the description down below, you'll see my link for my channel. I am the one, the way you subscribe. Ah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Why? Oh, I'm choking. Oh. Subscribe. 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 Yeah, you're right. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Until next time, stay peachy. Okay, bye.